Hello everybody and welcome to my guide on how to get the Witch Doctor mask in RuneScape 3 for 2021. The reason I'm making this guide is because the other guides on the topic are pretty outdated since after the release of Anachronia, the method of catching the regular Jadinkos has changed. The Witch Doctor Mask is an item that grants unlimited teleports to the Herblore habitat. Additionally, the teleportation ability carries over to your Master Farmer's outfit. This makes the mask a super convenient item to have for your farm runs so you don't have to keep on buying those Juju Teleport Spirit Bags every time. In order to be rewarded the mask, you need to catch 10 regular Chadinkos and 3 of the God Chadinkos all in the same week. You are supposed to be able to catch all of the 10 regular Chadinkos in the island of Anachronia, but at the time of recording this guide, it is bugged and you need to get the tracked Chadinkos separately at the Herblower Habitat. So I will be separating this guide to three different sections. If this bug ever gets resolved, I will pin a comment down in the description with further instructions. The requirements to get the mask are the following. 77 farming to plant the seeds to attract the Chadinkos. 54 herb lore if you're making your own Juju Hunter potion. 90 Hunter to catch the Jadinkos. 55 agility to get to the island with the God Chadinkos. 80 construction is only recommended but I highly advise to have it because it costs a lot of money to switch between the features if you do not have it. Items you will need are a spade, 3 red, blue and green blossom seeds, 4 marasov plants, 3 apple, banana and orange saplings, 1 to 2 Juju Hunter Potions, which if you're an Iron Man and you are making these yourself, you might want to do the regular Jadinko section of this video first. That way you can get the secondary for the Juju Hunter Potion without wasting any time. 3 of each Calfurberry and Lurkberry seeds, these are untradeable. And contradictory to what the wiki says, do not waste your time trying to get this through the offering stone at the Jadinko lair. When I was preparing for this guide, I did over 2000 Jadinko kills while using my favor for the seeds and I did not receive a single one. Your best bet will be to just hunt cannibal Jadinkos at Anachronia for the seeds. As you can see on the clip on the screen, um, it only took me around 80 hunts to get all the seeds I needed. If at any point during this you are unsure which ones you have caught, just go to the minigame menu, click D&Ds and Jadinko Hunting. It will show you a list of which ones you already have caught and which are remaining. With all of these items in your inventory, we will be headed to the Herblore Habitat. And in order to get there quickly, you can just buy a teleport from Betamax right next to the Taverly Lodestone and use that to easily get there. Now that we are here, let's get to the method of catching the three Gajadinkos. So all of the Gajadinkos require a different combination of plants here in the habitat in order to lure them out. As you can see from the picture on the screen now, we need to figure out the fruit tree, the feature, the wine blossom, and the bush for each of the three Gachadinkos. The fruit tree will remain the same for all three of the Jadinkos, and the feature can be indefinitely swapped if you have 80 construction. That's why it is highly recommended in order to do this. So now we just need to do a simple trial and error in order to figure out the right combinations. If you do not have AD construction, you can use the NPC to the north in order to switch between 
the features but this costs anywhere from 40 to 80k per feature so it is highly not recommended with that being said let's get to the trial and error strategy so starting off plant your blue blue blossom seed into the wine flower patch then use your juju hunter potion on it and choose one note that the buff from the juju hunter potion does remain even if you clear the patch next up plant your fruit tree use your apple sapling on the fruit tree patch next you want to go through the features in the middle until you get a chat message that requirements are met you will get a message saying that you have either two or three of the requirements met to attract a certain type of gadget inco if it says that you only have two of the requirements simply clear your blossom patch plant the red one wait five seconds see if it changes to three if not clear it again put the green one in wait five seconds if it doesn't say you have three just put the blue back in then you know that your blossom and the feature is right and your apple tree is wrong at that point you just simply want to remove your apple tree replace it with the banana one see if the requirements are met if not clear the banana one and put the orange one in at this point it should say that you have three of the requirements met if at any point during this your juju hunter potion runs out just simply pour one more dose on the blossom the fourth requirement we will find out is the bush patch because these seeds are the most annoying to get it can be the empty one as well keep that in mind but just go ahead once you have three requirements met plant your calfer berry seed at this point it will either say that you have attracted jadinkos at the nearby island or if it says nothing simply clear the bush up and plant the lark berry seed and wait a few seconds at this point you should get the message that you have attracted jadinkos at the nearby island island simply climb over the wall and climb up the vine to the next island to catch them simply lay down your marasa plants and wait for them to get in you only need to catch one once you have caught one congratulations that is one out of three and from this point forward it gets easier now that we have caught one of the three gacha dinkos it gets significantly easier because the fruit tree that you used for the last one it will remain the same do not touch it the blossom that you used for the last one cannot be the same one for the next two jadinkos so for example i had the blue one so i can just get rid of those seeds and let's get straight into the next one so one of the two remaining blossom seeds use on the vine flower patch once you've done that just simply cycle through the features in the middle until you get a chat message saying that you meet three of the requirements once you get the message saying that you have met three of the requirements again move to the push bush patch if you have something growing in it clear it for me it was the clear patch if it's not that for you just simply cycle through your calfer and the lurkberry seeds once again wait a few seconds in between and you should get the message that you have attracted another gacha dinko in the nearby island once again hop onto the nearby island catch one congratulations only one left 
So for this one, you should only have one of the blossom seeds left. Simply go ahead and plant that one in the blossom patch. As always, do not touch your fruit tree. Go ahead and cycle through the features. Once again, once you get the message that three of the requirements have been met, simply move under the bush patch. If you have something growing in it, clear it. If that's not it, simply try another seed and you should get the message that you have attracted the last gotcha dinko. Once again, just simply hop on over to the nearby island, catch one of the gotcha dinkos. That is all of the three. Congratulations. Now we just need to catch the regular ones. Next, we will be catching the Camouflaged, Deceased and the Shadow Chedinko, which have to be caught at the Herblore Habitat. Note that for the first one of the three, you need to have an active Juju Hunter Potion. First thing you want to do, plant a red blossom. If you need a seed, just go pick one up from Papa Mambo. If you don't have an active dose already, pour one dose on the blossom. Next, in the middle, build the standing stones. You might already have this in the patch. If you do, don't touch it. But if you don't, plant a banana sapling. And lastly, you need to have a lurkberry in the bush patch. You might have that already. Now you have attracted camouflage chedinkos, just head south over the vine. The next tracking method will be the same for all of them. Go northeast, inspect the burrow, go south and inspect the jungle plant, run southwest and inspect the hole. Inspect the jungle plant south of the jungle tree. And lastly, attack the bush to the north. Congratulations, that is one out of the three tracked. Next, keep everything the same. Change the middle feature to boneyard and head back to the south. Once again, Inspect the burrow, the jungle plant, the hole, the jungle plant south of the jungle tree, and attack the bush. Congratulations, that is two out of three. Again, simply switch the middle to be an abandoned house and head back south over the vine. Once again, investigate the burrow, the jungle plant, the hole to the southwest, the jungle plant south of the jungle tree, and once again, attack the bush. Congratulations, now you just have to catch the rest of the seven regular Chedinkos at Anachronia. The fastest way of catching the remaining seven regular Chadinkos is just to catch them on Anachronia. Follow the map on the screen now, bring five Marisol plants and one to two doses of the Juju Hunter Potion. For the sake of this guide, I will be showing you guys a sped up clip of me running through all of them, starting from the top left. That is the Carrion Jadinko caught. That is the Cannibal Jadinko. The Amphibious Chedinko.
the Igneous Jadinko. There is the Aquatic Jadinko. The Draconic Jadinko. And lastly, moving a bit to the southeast to catch the last Jadinko. Once you have caught that one, congratulations, that should be the last Jadinko you need. So just head back to Papa Mambo, speak to him. He will ask you which skill you want XP in. I chose Herblore, and he will give you the Witch Doctor mask. Congratulations. You now have a badass looking mask and also unlimited teleports to the Herblore habitat. That is the end of the guide. I hope I was of any help to you. This was my first time trying to make a guide. So yeah, let me know how it went down in the comments below. If, if you enjoyed it, leave a like so other people will see it. If you'd like to see more of my content, I actually have an Iron Man series. It's on the screen now, so go ahead and check it out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Yaki out. Peace.